So I'm a master of masking and hiding parts of myself that I really want to be more open about. Um, they're used to just knowing me as the bubbly, talented, like outgoing gin, but they don't really see behind the scenes of like the sensory overwhelm and the excessive like four hours planning every night before I go to bed to make sure that the days go like so that I'm not overwhelmed from them, so that I like have all my meals planned out, have all my sleep and activities and like everything like to a tea like planned. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to sharing this aspect of me with people in my life. Loved writing since I was very young. Um, I started writing like poetry I think in a class when I was like six years old and I started songwriting when I was six as well. I found that poetry and songwriting were like very similar but poetry had less rules um, which I liked because I could do either like three words or like infinite words. <laughs> um, since then I've kind of just done whatever I wanted like there, I didn't feel any obstacles to like what I wanted to do which was amazing so when I was 10 I wrote two songs and published an album um, when I was 17 I decided I was going to write a book so I self-published um, a poetry book but words have always been like the main way that I express myself whether it's like spoken or sung or written um, I would find that it would be the easiest way I could communicate. Like I would write letters to my parents if I wanted them to understand what was going on for me. Um, I wrote a lot of songs kind of age nine to 12 when my parents were going through divorce um, to like understand what I was feeling because I didn't, I couldn't comprehend the emotions that were going through my brain and my body and it was very overwhelming. Um, but as I got older, I had definitely less time for songwriting and more time for poetry. Um, through COVID, poetry has been like a big part of my processing and like like piecing together and understanding the world. <laughs> definitely theatre. I find that like acting specifically, like being able to like mimic people's voices and like expressions has like shaped how I understand the world. I started um, performing on stage when I was five and like since then everything I do has been like to get on stage <laughs> um, whether it's speaking or singing or dancing or acting or whatever. Um, so coming out of my two-year diploma on stage, like doing stage work, we did musicals, we got to write our own shows, which was amazing because I could incorporate like poetry and dance and acting. But yeah, it's definitely like how I express my autism, autism is through like figuring out how to portray certain emotions, <laughs> which is a very useful skill. <laughs> every day. I feel like a lot of neurotypical people don't have the luxury of being able to like have a community of people who are dedicated to like helping you understand who you are and like why you are the way you are. And like another amazing thing that I have always loved about myself is my appreciation for like the things that no one notices. Like I'll just stop for ages and stare at like a flower coming out of the concrete or like sit for ages with animals and just play with them or gaze at the stars and like just the small things in life that are incredible to me but like kind of mundane to others. Mm. <laughs> Lots of doubt. When I was growing up and like did the album and did the book, 
um, there was a lot of people that told me that I shouldn't do it or that it was a waste of money or it was a waste of time, like nothing was gonna, nothing good was gonna come from it. Um, so that's always been something that I've battled with and just doubt in general that like the people that I have opened up to about my autism, they're either like, oh, everyone's a bit like that, like everyone experiences that. Um, which I feel really takes away from my whole life of like days of meltdowns, days of not being able to eat because of the sensory overwhelm. Like it's just um, been a huge part of me and my family's life. Um, so yeah. I feel like I seek out autistic people and I'll be like wow like hi <laughs> whereas like if you don't share that then you lose the, the opportunity to kind of meet other people in the community mm. Most of us 